Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the circular function. A circular function, it is the combination of our unit circle and the special angles. That's why we have here the unit circle. When we say unit circle, it is a circle centered at the origin with radius equal to 1. If you haven't watched the video, the lecture about the unit circle and special angles, just click the card, then it will direct you on that video. So let's have a brief explanation about our unit circle and the special angles. If you notice, we have the following angles, the special angles, we have the 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, and so on. And the equivalent measure into region. 30, that is equal to pi over 6. 45, that is equal to pi over 4. When you say 240, that is equal to 4 pi over 3. When you say 315, that is 7 pi over 4. 360, that is equal to 2 pi. And of course, we have the coordinates of our points in the unit circle. So if we have 120, the points are negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Now, let's proceed in our six trigonometric functions. So, sine theta, that is equal to our y. Cosine theta, that is equal to our x. Tangent theta, that is y over x. Wherein, x must not be equal to zero. Because if x is zero, that will give us undefined. The reciprocal of tangent is the cotangent. Cotangent theta. Since it is the reciprocal of tangent theta, therefore get the reciprocal of y over x. So that is x over y, wherein y must not be equal to 0. Now, what is the reciprocal of sine theta? That is the reciprocal of sine theta. And what is the reciprocal of y? 1 over y. Again, y must not be equal to 0. Now, the reciprocal of cosine theta is and the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. So these are the six trigonometric functions that we are going to use in our circular functions. Now, how are we going to use this circular function? To evaluate our trigonometric functions. Now let us apply our trigonometric functions to solve some problems. Let's say we have the following. Evaluate. Number one, cosine 30 degrees. So how are we going to evaluate? So we need to get the exact value of the given. So cosine 30 degrees. So first, locate our angle. The angle is 30. So where is 30? It's here. Now our function is cosine. So cosine indicates our x. Now in our coordinate, this is our x and y. We're looking for the value of x. So the value of x here is? is square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, cosine 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Next, sine 5 pi over 6. First step, locate our angle. So it is in the region measure, so 5 pi over 6. Where is 5 pi over 6? It's here. The equivalent is 150 degrees. Sine sine is y so this is our x and y so we have one half sine 5 pi over 6 is equal to one half third problem tangent 7 pi over 6 so tangent is y over x so locate 7 pi over 6 7 pi over 6 this is our x and y y is negative one half over 
x is negative square root of 3 over 2. Our numerator is fraction and denominator is, one, is also a fraction. So, copy negative 1 half times the reciprocal negative 2 over square root of 3. So, negative times negative, that will give us positive. So, 2 and 2, that will be cancelled out. So, now we have 1 over square root of 3. Our rule is, denominator must not be in radical form. Okay, we can still simplify this. So, get the conjugate, square root of 3 over square root of 3. So, 1 times square root of 3, that is square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So we have square root of 3 over 3. That is the exact value of 7 pi over 6. Now let's have our problem number 4. This time we have cosecant pi over 4. Or if you want to use the shortcut, I need to write, it's okay. So first, locate pi, pi over 4. Pi over 4 is 45. So we have 1 over... Square root of 2 over 2. So we can still simplify this one. So we have 1 times the reciprocal of our denominator, that is 2 over square root of 2. So we have 1 times 2, we have 2 over square root of 2. Again, this is not yet in simplified form, we can conjugate. So multiply square root of 2 over square root of 2. Or rationalize, um, we have now... 2 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is 2. And 2 divided by 2, square root of 2. So cosecant pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2. Our last example, cotangent 240 degrees. So find 240. Now, cotangent is x over y. x over y. So, we have negative 1 half over negative square root of 3 over 2. Copy the numerator, which is negative 1 half, times the reciprocal of our denominator, that is negative 2 over square root of 3. Negative times negative, that will give us positive. So, we have 1 over square root of 3. We can still simplify that. Multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Now we have square root of 3 over 3. This will be the final answer. Square root of 3 over 3. So that is the circular function. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.